Good morning. Um, this is episode four or five, four or five of Chris Cab TV. Um, at Burton Constable. Uh, if you saw the video from yesterday where I was making my stick mix and PV bags, then you'll know I'm here today and at Majestics tomorrow. Um, I've got two rods out. I had all three out, but. About 30 seconds after I'd cast it out, I unfortunately hooked a bream on my solid bag rig. But because of my dipstick, I've forgotten the rest of my solid bags. So I'm going to have to try and make shift something out of this. Um, been a bit of a mess today, I've forgotten the tripod again. And I've forgotten the actual video camera. This is on my camera. Um, so I don't know if you can see me to be honest. Um, so that's that's what I caught the bream on, but I'm all right with it because it's obviously working. It's obviously got the the rig's obviously presenting itself right. So I've got a surf zone leader and clear, and just a small two ounce lead in line, and just a small braided hook line with a corder size eight continental hook, piece of string tube, and then a cut down robin red pop up which just sits. Just sits above the hook. Um, so that's the rig that I've had that bream on. Get it out there, hopefully, have car. Uh, keep me informed. Right then, uh, second blog. Don't know if you can see me because I can't see the screen. Um, just had to the rod in because uh, someone cast over me, even though I'd already told them where I was fishing, but unfortunately you do get them people sometimes. Uh, don't know how many more videos I'm going to do because the battery on the camera is dying, because I forgot to charge it. Uh, so I'm going to get this rod out there. I just found out it is uh, episode 4, not 5. I'm going to back, I'm going to back up. Majestic pool tomorrow, and that'll be episode seven because we've already done five and six. Well, I say I, James and Alan Harry have done it, but unfortunately they named them wrong. So they're being waited to upload. So this is five, this is four, and there'll be five and six, and seven tomorrow. So just explaining the mistake we've made. Um, so I'll get this rod out there. Hopefully I'll be able to get another video before the camera dies. See you soon. Got to recast. So I'm going to show you what I've uh, what I had on and what I've, I'm putting on. Cause I'm going to change my rig and change my bait. So I'll just go reeling the rod. So what I did have on was oh, a few cleeps on the, uh, the left on rod there. So what I did have on was my version of the hinge stiff rig 
a lot of people fish this rig with a like a coated braid length connected to like a chod type rig but I fish it instead of the coated braid I fish fluorocarbon so that was the corner IQ2 I if I can get that off The chod was fished. Um, what do you call it? With like a 360 rig type put pattern. So not your average chod. So I'll show you that in a second. Get that off there. Bleep on that one, so there we go, I was fishing that. So that will have pushed that out from the lead and just sat like that. But I'm unhappy with that because like I haven't had anything on it. So what I'm going to do is put on just normal blowback rig you see me using them all the time. Favourite rig in the world. Basically, all I'm going to do is put on a snowman rig, used, used to be my favourite bait, still one of my all time favourite patterns, just a good old snowman. And I'm just sharpening the hook, the tackle I'm using is the hook link is Corda Entrap Semi Stiff in weed green in £20. Hook is Corda Cave Shank, I use them all the time, favourite hook. I'd never use a different hook than that. I just have so much confidence. And just a little rig ring. Bit stripped back. Bit of the coating stripped back, about an inch before the shrink tube. Got the shrink tube on just to help it turn. And the bait I'm going to put on is a 18mm cell. So it's going to be a big bait. Let's get a, I don't want a round one, let's get an odd shaped one. Actually, no, let's go round. So I'm going to put that on, on the flat side. So I'm, I am putting a bigger bait on, and that's to deter the bream. And then after that, I'm just going to put on a little 10mm Robin Red pop-up. And that will just sit nicely. On top of there. Put your bait stop on. That's the rig. I'm just gonna put a little bag on there. Right, so. cast that out just like that so I'll get that out now and uh, I'll do another vlog later on let you know if I did it in and uh, I'll vlog next time I cast another rod out see you soon right then um, another vlog uh, since I last saw you I've lost one fish uh, rod pulled right round and struck into it the fish was only on for a matter of seconds and hook pull um, so I've changed that rig confident that if I hook a fish now that will stay in um, and now I'm just recasting another rod after I had a little run but then it stopped so I wasn't happy with that rig either so I've changed that rig and that bait something that I'm mega confident in so I'll show you that now basically all it is is a Nash tubing going down to a normal blowback rig. And I've had that soaking in there with a the PVA bag on it and everything for a couple of minutes now. So I'll get that out and cast it out. See you in a bit. Right, 
this hook bait and lead and PV bags all been in there for about three minutes. Uh, so I'm going to get that out and cast it out. So. There it is. pleased with that. Pleased with where that went. that cord a sublime time to melt. Not melt, sink. So as you can see I've just slackened off that line. Um, that line will now sink down and I'll put my bobbin on. Uh, confident in that, in that rod now. Uh, I'm confident with getting a bite to be honest. I've had a few liners and stuff. Uh, I think I'm in a good peg. So, hope for a bag one. camera so I don't know if I'm going to get any more vlogs done so I'll say my goodbyes now but uh, I think we just got to move further down the bank but uh, hopefully I'll still get some pictures if I have one so if I don't see you again I'll uh, see you tomorrow at Majestic Pool see you in a bit <laughs>